Hey guys, you won't believe what I've done. I've broken the sky fire. G'day, I'm Aaron and you're watching the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. So, big dramas here uh, with my little VMC Skyfire. You won't believe it, it's down and out of action. Uh, it all started, guys, because I've had uh, poor quality air. Uh, as you know, I, uh, when I bought this machine, I don't have a big air compressor at home. I've got a dodgy ass old thing that I put a new motor on. And unfortunately, the air is uh, not, not as dry as you'd like it now. Uh, at school where I work, uh, we've, we've got a couple of big screw compressors there and a piston compressor and they both have dry eyes on them. Now that keeps the air dry at all times and gets any moisture out of that, um, out of that air. Now, all the problems started guys, I noticed when I first turned the machine on, uh, it wouldn't tool change. And I worked out this was a sticky solenoid valve at the rear of the machine. Now I fixed that, I pulled that valve apart, lubricated it and it's been working fine ever since. However, recently, about a month ago, it started to have problems during a tool change. Now, it would run all day faultlessly, and you wouldn't believe it would be on the last part of the day. And as, it, as the uh, umbrella tool changer came across uh, to engage, it uh, wouldn't extend fully. And I, first of all, I thought I didn't have enough air pressure. But what it was, there was something inside this little pneumatic cylinder that was... Uh, restraining it from going full extension. Okay, this has got a 200 millimeter uh, uh, linear slide on it and there's an air cushion at the end. Now something's come adrift in here and it would not allow it to extend that further, that last, how would you say, half inch or 12 mil. All right, now, uh, as, as you know guys, before I was a school teacher, I was actually a tradesman and uh, I worked on a lot of this sort of stuff, uh, hydraulics and pneumatics and uh, all the stuff I'd previously worked on uh, had external stainless steel rods and you could undo them, pull it apart and service it yourself, you know, put a new seal in it, etc. These things you can't, they're a throwaway item. They've got swaged ends and uh, yes, I learnt that the hard way by trying to undo it. Now, I could have ordered it from China, I didn't. I just bought it through an SMC rep here in Australia. Uh, it cost me about 230 bucks. Now, do... Um, to counteract this down the track, um, I'll switch over to my handy cam and I'll take it around the back. I've actually fitted, uh, I've modified the rear panel, I've lifted up the oiler, and I've also um, fitted a three-in-one. So that's a regulator, filter, oiler in the back of the machine. So every now and then it would just a little tiny drop of um, compressed air oil uh, that you'd use in a, in a rattle gun or a, or a uh, pneumatic nail gun or something like that. That will drop into the system and probably help just to lubricate things over time. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at with that guys. So that's why you haven't seen me uh, doing any CNC machining of lately. Uh, second of all guys, I want to speak about the AdTech controller. Um, it's been working fine for me, um, but you know me guys, I don't do a lot of 3D tool paths. Now I've come unstuck. What I've worked out, this uh, controller here cannot handle these new modern 3D tool paths. Uh, it, it, it can do them, but it lags, okay, it has latency. Uh, I've noticed when I'm doing lots of 3D tool pass, the machine, uh, it will keep going, but the controller will stop, uh, it will stop scrolling through the code. Uh, now I've been working with, with Mr. Uh, Zhu Zhao from Sile CNC, and he was telling me that these controllers are no longer supported by AdTech. So AdTech have moved on with this generation, and they've got, they've got a newer one. In saying that, uh, Mr. Zhu Zhao, he's starting to work with another company called LNC. Uh, which is a 5800 and my good friend Peter Salvin, he's had a look at it and he reckons it's a, it's a pretty good controller. Although, as you know, Salvin is a strong advocate for uh, Linux CNC. So yeah, guys, um, if you're gonna buy a C machine, stay away from this AdTech, uh, what is it, a 4650. Uh, in saying that, guys, it will do 2D tool pass all day, every day without a problem. It's the complex 3D stuff with lots of, file, lots of data. That's when it starts to struggle. Um, now, I've had the machine, guys, for nine months. It's been working faultlessly for me, apart from that tool change issue that I've had. Um, but, guys, I'm speaking to a lot of other SkyFi users out there who aren't so happy with their machines. And it comes back to poor quality control. Now, SkyFi being letting machines go out of the factory, untested, unproven, customers get them, unbox them, and they don't work straight out of the crate. Uh, shame on you, SkyFi. You need to lift your game, okay? You need to do your quality control checks. I think they didn't do it to me, guys, because they knew I had a YouTube presence and uh, you know I'm a vlogger, 
and it, it could have brought them unstuck. But lots of people being uh, contacting me and telling me this sort of this sort of drama. I'm not going to mention names here. Uh, the, the other thing I'd like to mention is too is uh, Salvin, uh, who P Peter, as you know, is Salvin. He's uh, helped out a lot of people in the Skyfire community, and uh, for doing so, for this is with technical support, guys. I mind you, unpaid, okay. And the owner of Skyfire Defang promised Peter a tool changer uh, that he could bolt onto his SMV too for all his help and hard work. Now, this has not happened. So Defang, uphold your word. Send Peter his tool changer. Okay, if you say you're going to do something, do it. Follow through. He's worked for free for you, uh, helping lots of people, helping myself, helping other people internationally. So uphold your promise. Uh, apart from that, guys, um, the air cylinder here was very easy to change. And uh, look, but, but the whole sense of this, guys, I bought a turnkey machine. I was sick of fiddling around with my CNC machine at home. I wanted a turnkey solution that I didn't have to work on. Uh, so it pisses me off that I've got to actually work on this friggin' thing. Now, I can't blame Skyfire, like I said, because it's probably my fault with the dirty air. However, uh, guys, if you weren't a bit handy like myself, if you, if you don't have much of a mechanical aptitude, you'll start to get unstuck with this sort of stuff, all right? Uh, luckily for me, I know this stuff backwards, so it's not a big deal. Where I get stuck is in the programming, and that's where I lean on people like Peter, uh, who you know of on Instagram. Alrighty, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll be back up and running soon and I'll post some more CNC machining videos. Until next time, stay safe, behave, and I'll catch you, catch you later. Cheers.